have here in this tutorial in Chaos Tutorials is about getting Steam to work on your machine. So, Steam is a game service from Valve Software, and it works wonders in getting a lot of retro games to work. And in the case of Covers Crossover, it lets you run a lot of old games too. It isn't perfect; it has some shortcomings. But here, I'm going to show you how to both install Steam as well as to Optimize Steam by making sure you add some libraries and apps that go within Steam to make sure it runs perfect. So we're going to start off with choosing Windows 10 64-bit. Because all Apple machines now are 64-bit and that's just, just about compatible. It doesn't matter that it's a 32-bit app because Steam can still run it as so long as you optimize it correctly and make sure you get all the parts. So this is getting ready to install. Obviously it's putting, making sure to add the fonts so that it can display labels because Steam needs the fonts in order to display the store or game titles or even play games that feature these fonts in the labels. So it's just installed by the various fonts. Trebuchet, Verdana, Times New Roman, it's making sure it has all these fonts because what you're doing when you're installing the Kodish cross servers, you're making a virtual machine. A virtual machine is essentially a computer being run within your own computer. Now, it doesn't matter that what information you put in here. Just make sure you have a label so that you know you know whose it is. That's it for a parser. But getting back to this, you know, you're creating a machine within your computer, and that's what Steam is going to be. It's going to be a virtual computer running Steam programs. So I'm making sure I have all the things right. English is the language I'm going to use for this one. I'll get subtitles later to help others who um, are mainly interested in foreign languages to see what I'm saying in those languages. So it should be even more accessible in a little bit. So it's busy getting Steam updated. Now there's going to be a point where you have to just go get the code to activate it in your email. I'm not going to show my code here, but there's going to be a little skipping, but that's all I'm going to skip. So, yes, there's a few more parts I'm going to do here. Um, you want to have the libraries for DirectX. So that's going to be coming up next after I get Steam activated. Because Crossover has some flaws, but it's just a way to make sure. And obviously they've ironed it out quite a bit since I first started in Weaver's Crossover back in 2010 or 2011. It's improved since then. And congratulations to the team over there for what they've done. I uh, just want to say it's great that how they improved it, but in order to help it run programs and where you just want to put the DirectX libraries in there. So I'm going to log on to Steam and just get it started up so that I can make sure it runs smooth. Okay, so here's where they give you the message. So I'll send you an email. In that email that you have connected to your Steam account, you will get your code. Um, and I'm just going to enter in the code, and I'll continue in a minute or so. <clears throat> All right. So now I have access. Hit finish and get Steam opening. This is done. This works. All right. Now, before I try playing games, I'm going to optimize, as I said before, as I said earlier. All right. So, or to optimize, we get extra steam. Go back here. So I install. So we need. Direct X, the really good version of Direct X. This is for modern games <clears throat> because this is 
XP and Windows XP and beyond obviously because this is Windows 10 so it needs to direct X so and do it into Steam libraries as you can see in the d .dlls. Library files are required to read apps. Just think of it as decryption. All right, you need the proper codes and proper um, lines of code to write to read an app. And for running all the games as best as you can with Steam, you need the proper libraries in there as well. <coughs> so we did. We put in DirectX, which is for graphics, sound, <coughs> music, all of that for the modern operating system, which is Windows 10 for Steam. So with that in there, it should be finished real soon. Okay, finish. <coughs> now another thing for Steam we're going to do is fonts. those in Steam as well. Now we're going to put DLL. limited in terms of how it works but having it within the app helps it run a little bit so we're gonna get the you know it has the insulter built in and we'll get it from online this thing make it be steam some things from 32 pit that needs to run this is the libraries so these are the libraries and there are some older 32 bit apps it helps them be run all right so we go with this and 32 <coughs> and do it for steam This is it. So I'm going to end this by getting Steam opened, and this should be the optimal way to have Steam ready to be run. Core fonts. And on that, this is the most games you can run for this macOS 64 bit. That being said, it won't run all of them, but Steam, it runs way better than it used to back when I started using Crossover years ago, okay? It's come a long ways away, so, you know, if you ever meet or, I mean, to, to say to the people who work at Crossovers, tell them, at Code Weavers, tell them thank you, because they have improved the capacity of this to run various games so 
I'm going to go enjoy playing some games here on Steam. World of Tanks is what I'm mostly interested in, but you have yourself a wonderful day, and thank you very much for listening in on the tutorial. If you wish to see more from me, um, hit the like button, and because remember, I can still see your likes. It doesn't matter if you can or can't. Creators still do. So if you really like what a creator does, and not just me, any creator on YouTube, hit the like button. The creators can all can see that you like their work and that you are getting your support to them. And that supports them. Same thing with subscribe. You want to subscribe. That is a nice way to get notified that, hey, Chaos Nova or whoever else is coming up with something new. Just remember, no matter how visible it is to you, likes still matter. All right. They always do. And with that, without further ado, I wish you a wonderful evening. And good luck with getting your apps to work here on Code Reader's Crossover. All right. I'll be signing off. Hi everyone, Kiss Nova here, and this is the ending of the video presentation on Chaos Tutorials, and here's the deal. If you want to see more of my uh, tutorials on getting your old games to work on Mac, and you want to see more tutorials on how to do various other tasks, such as very cheap ways to make YouTube videos that still look decent, and much, much more, Feel free to subscribe, and if you want to be among the first to get each video, hit the notifications. And please, if you enjoy liking this, your vote still counts, so please click the like with a big thumbs up. Alright, you have a wonderful day, and I'll be signing off.